Hey, this is Mass X with a new Eminence in Shadow, Master of Garden video. And we had our second event character drop. Yes, School Rocks Zeta. As you can see her in the background. Interesting character. Extends stun on all enemies, yada, yada, yada deals with that mystic power and that's something what we need to talk about with these two event characters. I was lucky enough to get a god pull with her and I'll put that in the video later but let's first talk about this character and then I really want to discuss if these two characters should be being summoned because quite honestly I don't think so and I'll tell you why. So let's just get right down to it and look at the awakening on Zeta, okay? If you awaken her once she gets each time damage is received lower attack of one random enemy by 5% for 5 seconds. CT 2 seconds further grants mystic power on one random enemy for 25 seconds. If you go to her second awakening, raises own defense by 35% for 10 seconds, shields damage 35% of skill users attack of blue elemental allies behind self for 15 seconds. If you go to the uh, third awakening you just get a magic gear slot if you go to the fourth awakening it inflicts fourth hit four hit damage 50 50 50 plus 100 percent and stun for three seconds on single enemy further grants two times mystic power and then the last one of course if you were to go ahead and max her awakenings it inflicts 300 percent damage on all enemies and one second stun to target for every two times mystic power max 7 seconds, raises own defense by 25% for 10 seconds, further recovers HP by 100%. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. There's nothing wrong with this kit. The problem is, this is a kit that is so reliant on specific things, as well as being fully awakened, quite honestly, to really make this character work, and it goes hand in hand with the other character. Alpha Honor Student, when you look at her Awakens, okay, if you do her the first time, 30 seconds after start of wave, raises damage inflicted for blue elemental allies based on the enemy's total mystic powers. If you go on to the Awakened skill, the second Awakening, it inflicts 300% damage, further lowers defense of that enemy based on target's total mystic power. See where this is going? The add magic gear slot is next, of course. Then you have the fourth Awakening skill, raises on attack by 40%, grants three mystic powers. And of course, if you go to fully awaken, inflicts a thousand percent damage on all enemies, further raises each target's damage based on total mystic power. These two characters are so self-reliant on each other and their kits really to be effective have to be so awoken that these two characters, in my opinion, are definitely hard passes. Don't waste your money on them because there are other options out there to build and play in this event third member gamma you don't even have to have her up that high and she's super effective in this event bright world beta 2 super effective in this event between the two of these i know they're both support but when you look at them you got one with the speed and one with the healing they both work really well and you can use them together or separately definitely the Gamma because of what she puts out there for you with um, that control. Ideal Me Espelon. Epsilon is also a solid character for this event. First to seven Alpha for your front tank. You don't need to pull for a new tank in this event. If you got or you need DPS, you've of course got Small Predator Delta as well as Beatrix. I mean, she's a freaking amazing and she can tank some. My point is simply, these two characters, the Alpha and Zeta, are going to require so much. It is not worth it. And they're going to be very niche for aspects of the game after the event. And quite honestly, I've pulled for both of them. Now, I haven't gone crazy, so I think they're both just awakened too. But... I keep going back to the early characters like the ones I was talking about and using them and testing and finding them to be more productive. Would Zeta and Alpha be 
more productive than the older characters? Oh well, yeah, if you awaken them up to four or five, of course, but who's going to do that in this game, especially with event characters with skill kits that are so niche that I don't see them being amazing after the event. So this is definitely one after review and testing, I gotta say, I think these two are both hard passes for the reasons I've spoken about, and also one other major reason. They still haven't fixed the goddamn glitch in the event. So you're still gonna have those two bozo teams that keep changing their name and exploiting the cheats that are available. So in the end, it is not worth it. This is one that I say hard skip on both, save those gems and look to another banner because we've gotten some amazing characters lately you know we just had um the delta that dropped which was just sick and you can imagine we're going to see more and more characters like that coming out on the individual banners and on this one i think they really dropped the ball on this event to really not make it worthwhile for the player base to pull for these characters let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you agree with me or not, or if you think this is a good banner. I just don't see it, and I haven't been able to generate the type of synergy that I would like to with a team with these two characters at this time. Please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps so much. Take care.